Hey loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Gracie Papio. If you're new here, welcome. I do beauty related videos in this channel, but my husband and I are food lovers. So we also want to share our passion for food in this video or in this channel and as well as our future travels and future adventures together. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing by clicking the subscribe button down below. I would greatly appreciate your support. I hope to upload once a week in this channel. Cross fingers. In today's video, we will be talking about the JCAT Aquasurance Compact Foundation. Okay ba ang Aquasurance Compact Foundation for oily skin and for humid weather? Let's find out. I bought the shade Natural, but this is a little light than my skin tone. I bought mine from Shopee.ph at 799 pesos. I have worn this a couple times to test the foundation. Now I'll be showing you how I applied this and how this wore for the rest of the day. Please keep on watching. I have applied Bayer Aquarich Watery Essence prior to filming. I'm using a big dense brush to apply the powder all over my skin. This is D28 brush by Beauty Cosmetics. They have 13 shades available right now and I'm using the shade Natural. And again, I got the wrong shade. This claims to be hydrating and weightless, I'll have to agree. Let us go through the claims listed on the website. One, it's a finely milled, luxurious, silky texture that minimizes the appearance of pores, yes. Second, absorb and balance excess oil without creasing and looking cakey, okay? Innovative technology with water lock system to maintain moisture within the powder. Mm -hmm. Fourth, provide medium to full coverage for a natural flawless complexion. Yes, that's, that's actually true. They have listed three main ingredients, which are cactus flower, is an antioxidant... It's just one hour after I applied the foundation and I just noticed that my skin is actually looking oily already and so as you can see here on my cheeks area it's uh, getting oily it's not a good look so I'll just blot my face with uh, paper but I don't know how to do makeup today how do you say Mal. Mal. Ano mas sabi mo sa makeup ko? Huh? <laughs> ano pa yung sinabi mo kanina? Hindi yung fishing is sabu. May sinabi ka pa kanina. Ang ganda kayo sa mga sabu. Oh, mas maganda makeup ko today. Actually, uh, madali lang gawin yung, ano, yung eyes. Actually, like my makeup today. Like, very summery makeup. It's just that my foundation is, uh, is already getting oily. So, yun. So, right now, I look like a hot mess. Not really, but on my T-zone and here on my cheeks, it's very shiny and it's very oily. The, obviously, the oils are very prominent on this area. Day 2 of the wear test. I am using Echo Tools Retractable Kabuki Brush this time. And I have applied MAC Oil Control Lotion on the right side of my face. Hey 
everyone! I am back. Medyo naghahabal ako ng natural light. So, I sat down as soon as I got home and wanted to uh, make this video. Chismis lang talaga yung mga oil control lotion na yun. Huwag na kayong bumili. Sayang pera nyo. Anyway, um, that's another story. So, ito pa rin yung gamit ko. Si... Hindi ko pa rin alam kung paano ito i-pronounce yan. Basahin nyo na lang. So, yan yung gamit kong blotting paper. I don't really like it because... Kinukot ng uh, ano siya, nangangain siya ng foundation, nagta-transfer. So, ayan. Ito yung may oil control lotion ulit. As you can see. At testing natin sa kabila. <laughs> Kamusta naman? So, ayan siya. Pinag. Tadaan! So, ayan siya. So, parehas lang, diba? O, oh. oh, diba? Parehas lang siya na makuha na oil. Parang wala namang difference kahit may oil control lotion. Kismis lang talaga yung girl. Ano ko? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Anim na blotting paper, girl! On day 3, I applied the foundation using the sponge that came with it. They also claim that the sponge is antibacterial and it can deliver an airbrush effect for a flawless finish. I use Hamish Artless Glow Base all over my face as my sunscreen and Inglot Mattifying Makeup Base on the right side of my face. I bought Glam of Sweden blotting paper from Carrefour for 10 dirhams and I seem to made the right decision. This did a better job in mattifying my face. I actually like this blotting paper as I only need to use one sheet to absorb the oil from my face. I have to use two to four sheets from the previous one plus it was grabbing the foundation from my skin. So this is a good find. I'll just put kung anang oras ko ng suot ng makeup na somewhere on the screen. And this is how my skin looks right now. So I want to quickly wrap this up because I want to remove this makeup and take some rest. So this side of my face, meron siyang oil control primer. And then the other side, wala. So yung dito pa rin, as usual, like most foundations, Wala na siya here sa side of my nose. And on my nose, meron pa ba siyang foundation? Hindi ko masabi. Here, wala na siya. Dahil nga na-rub off ko siya. Na-scratch ko yung nose ko kanina. Wala na mas lalabas sa foundation ko. Sabi na, asal ko parehas lang daw. Walang difference. I was actually supposed to use the Inglot Mattifying Primer again, pero nakalimutan kong i-apply and the next thing I know, I was applying the foundation already. And this time, I wet my sponge before I applied the foundation. If I haven't mentioned already, you can use this foundation wet or dry. Alright, so final thoughts on this foundation. Okay, so first off, the coverage. The coverage is phenomenal. The coverage of this is very good. I was actually surprised when I was applying this on my skin. So I did half my skin with the foundation and then half without. Although the color is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, the coverage payoff is really good. I didn't really have to use a concealer to cover my pimple scars. Although the foundation had faded a little bit on my cheeks area, you can see my pimple scars. And next one that I noticed is yun nga, nag-oxidize siya on skin. Especially on my eye bag area. It's weird. It's in iba yung color niya from on my eye bags. 
than the rest of my face. Actually, the packaging is nice. Maganda yung packaging niya. And it it looks sturdy enough for me. And I actually like then yung sponge that it comes with. It's actually very soft. Unlike um, other sponge the meron yung mga compact foundation. This Right. So let's talk about the performance of it. Nag-oil agad yung skin yung ko. Mga siguro after 30 minutes after applying, oily na agad yung skin ko. Uh, one hour after application, grabe na yung oil ng skin ko. As in, super oily na ng balat ko. Um, so, I have to, downside of it, I have to check my skin every now and then because um, the oils are peeking through or the oils are very pronounced on my face. Um, one more thing is the price. It is 799 Peso. So, tignan natin siya magana siya in dirham, 799. Right now, ang palitan kanina is 13.88. So, it's 58 dirhams. So, 58 dirhams na to. Parang namamahalan ako. The, the price is a little bit high for for a drugstore foundation. Para sa akin na, feeling ko mahal, mahal siya for a drugstore foundation. On that note, I would um, honestly say na hindi ko siya best for my skin. I have very, very oily skin and um, it became prominent while using this foundation. For oily skin people, I would say stay away from this foundation. Um, I even tried it with a mattifying primer which is the Inglot one. Actually, mas less yung na produce niya na oil. If you really wanted to use the foundation, maybe you can use a, a good mattifying primer. Alright, so that's it for me today. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and today's content. Any future videos that you want me to do, um, please feel free to comment down below and then I will check it out. And if I can do it, I will do it for you. And yeah, that's it for now. So I hope to see you again on my next video. Thank you again for watching. Bye! Excuse me. And it I Naglalakad ako. Naglalakad ako ng mga 20 minutes if you don't if you don't if you all if you don't huh?